In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate some new tools that are available in Cobalt version 8 that allow feature patterning. I'll start by building a base model to demonstrate the, the tools. This is an extruded plate with draft angle on it. And now I'm putting in some geometry for a protrusion. Just move it to where I want it first. Extrude it up, give it a fixed distance. Now I'm just going to put draft angle on one side, set the draft to 10 degrees, pick a reference face, pick the face to be drafted and a neutral line position. This is geometry for a cutout to go through the plate. Firstly, I'll match the face, the end of this rib to the disc. Now I'll pick the lines for the cutout. And cut that through. And now I'll put some detail on the rib. Put another, I'll put a cut out through the rib. Move that geometry to where I want it. Now I'm going to put a couple more fillets on. That'll do for that. Okay, now to the tricky bit. Using the normal translate tools, if I pick the feature option up the top, I can drag over any face geometry and I can mirror it. If I go back to the original geometry that I created it with, I can drag that around and modify both the original faces and the mirrored faces. Now, not only can I mirror, I can do a polar rotation. Center zero zero zero, and there we have three copies. Now this is still that rotation is editable. If I go to the Design Explorer and pick the feature tree, open up the links in there get information on the polar duplicate I can make it four it's all hanging, in, hanging on in there just edit parameters again, make it six which is going to cause some collision Right, it works. Okay, I'll just put.
put it back the way it was to three. Now, if I want to, I go back into the history tree and edit other parts of the original rib. And those propagate through to the duplicates. So all in all, some pretty useful features.